we're using uh, CUDA to speed up our processing of ultrasound signals for our whole breast ultrasound system. So this is a system that we hope will be used by radiologists in conjunction with mammography and ultrasound and all the other existing technologies to help radiologists make better decisions about breast cancer care and treatment. I looked at CUDA late 2006 when I saw an announcement, uh, actually on Slashdot, kind of about the beta coming out. And, and I'm, you know, I'm not a typical supercomputing attendee. I'm doing production level code, stuff that has to be maintained. It's medical quality code, so it has to be maintained and, and kept up for seven years or more. Um, so when I heard about CUDA, I thought, you know, we're using clusters right now to do all of this processing, and it's taken a couple hours to get each scan processed. It's a long time, and a cluster is kind of a complex thing to keep up and running inside a medical device. So uh, I thought, you know, why not try this? We've, you know, it'll cost us 500 bucks to go pick up a video card. Uh, it'll cost me a little bit of time to kind of get up to speed on it. And uh, I already know C, C++, I was familiar with that. Had a little bit of MPI experience from working on that cluster and uh, you know, got approval from our COO, went and bought a card and spent a little bit of time here and there working on it. And uh, got our entire algorithm ported over to CUDA and uh, saw some significant speed ups over the cluster we were using and even over a new cluster that we were going to be putting in the system that we had planned to get a speed up on. So it was quite nice. We, uh, we went from a couple hours of processing time on a seven node Pentium M cluster. We were gonna cut that down to about 45 minutes on a 16 node Core 2 Duo cluster. Meanwhile, CUDA on four graphics cards were giving us processing times of about 20 minutes. So it, it was pretty much a no brainer from the speed point of view. And also from cost, that, that CUDA setup putting in the system cost about half as much as the 16 node Core 2 Duo cluster. So, you know, between speed, cost, power consumption, we decided to go with CUDA. There was some resistance, you know, they, uh, to using this. They'd been used to developing on the cluster in Fortran, and they'd been used to the idea of running their code on the production system on the cluster in Fortran. So, to take that tool away from them kind of gave them a little bit of heartache. They, they weren't real happy about that. Uh, what, what we found, though, was with CUDA, since it's C, we could write basic building blocks of their algorithm in CUDA and in C and give them C callable functions that they could use in their Fortran code. They're kind of moving towards that now, but uh, they also have a, an executable that stands alone and runs their entire algorithm that can take different inputs, different iteration numbers, uh, you know, different frequency sets, and just run their algorithm outright. When they started using that, they were able to do multiple runs in a very short amount of time on the Tesla hardware, tweak parameters, try different things, and, and they're now really excited about using the hardware, not just in production, but now in their development. And obviously, since I'm developing the code, I use that hardware every day to do runs, make sure the code is correct, uh, try different parameters, uh, process scans that have come back from our clinical sites when we need to redo various aspects of it or we want to try something a little bit different, uh, it's been great for all of us. We were using four GPUs and we got processing times of around 15, 20 minutes. Uh, since that time, we've kind of changed our algorithm a little bit, added a few more iterations, uh, changed a few things, that upped our processing time on four of the previous generation GPUs to about 28 minutes. Still pretty good, uh, still very fast. We took out, on my development system, we had an S870, so four previous generation Tesla GPUs. I unplugged those four GPUs and put in a single C1060, so a single card. That single C1060 did the same processing job in 30 minutes. So four old generation GPUs at 28 minutes, one C1060 at 30 minutes, it, you know, it was just phenomenal to us. It, it, it actually opened up some new avenues for new development. So now we don't need all this space inside of the box for four GPUs. We don't need all these cables going back and forth to from our GPU host to the GPU 
uh, the desk side GPUs. Uh, we can actually integrate two C1060s inside one box, no cables, uh, no trouble, less space, less power, and still get double the speed up that we had before. So it, it's, it's not just great from a speed point of view, but it's actually helped us quite a bit uh, mechanically and uh, power-wise in our system design.